Good morning, plumbers. Good morning, YouTube. As you know, we do everyday plumbing. The good, the bad, and the ugly. All while training my two sons, the plumbing apprentices, the trade. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Follow this journey as I train my two sons, the plumbing trade. It's gonna be a long journey, but well worth it because we all know plumbing ain't going nowhere. For today's adventure, more free plumbing work. My dishwasher at the home front took a dive for the worse. So today, we're gonna to install a Bosch dishwasher. I will see you inside. Monroe, guess what time it is? It's dishwasher time. Here comes boss lady, here we go. Back so soon. Malfunction with the kitchen faucet job. Chucky's, he's out the frat and is not home, so we're going to do the dishwasher first. So what, you think I don't know how to put a dishwasher in without your micromanaging me? Yeah, I have to do it. All right, don't scratch the floor. Oh, here we go. Don't ruin my rug. What else? Don't bury anything in the kitchen. <laughs> don't nick the cabinet, putting it in or taking it what out. What else? Yeah. How about scratching the floor, coming through that with the too. dishwasher? Break some furniture. Take your real time. Okay. Boss lady's gone. Now we can actually talk. So this thing's done. This does not work no more. We're getting a new dishwasher. The only bad news is, can I get this taken out and a new one put in in the next 20 minutes before she gets back? I don't think so. Uh, right out of the gate, we need a hex head. <laughs> Come on, man. Who puts these things in like this? You gotta be kidding me, right? We're gonna power through, strip it, and put right our screen in. Oh, wow, the bracket broke. That's why a dishwasher is loose. Huh. Guess who's home? It's done. Marcy's here. The other one doesn't fit. Today we're going to be teaching Marcy how to put a dishwasher in. And the first thing you do is shut the water off. And the first thing I can't reach is the water. Water off. What do we got here? Push it in. Cap. Think you got steam? Trash. Yeah. You're getting a new one, remember? Yeah. <laughs> 2030. <laughs> Can you hand me that rag, please? Then you disconnect the water, Marcy. To disconnect your drain. Yeah, but well, this came with the dishwasher. It's a Bosch. Make tools also. I know, and tools. Oh, you have a little bucket. Oh, 
you don't want to scratch the floor, right, Marcy? Don't forget to disconnect your electric like I just did. 16, breaker 16. Always make sure the breaker's off. What would that mean? It's off, but there's still 0.7 of a showing. Like, is that a short somewhere in the house? On the ground. Oh, there's my kitty cat. Come here, kitty. Get the mouse. Kitty cat, come on out of there, dude. Come on, you go. I want to call you. Hold it in. Yeah, hold that like that, please. Fire. This is where the mouse was coming in and out. Free reign. He's done. No more mouse. You know what we do for a mouse? Stuff it with steel wool. Here is the new dishwasher. The drain and the water hook up in the back. The electric goes in here, plugs in. This will mount in the back of the dishwasher wall, like so. I'm breaking out my new drill bit set. I'm using this drill bit set, the Milwaukee Big Hog Carbide Teeth Cup Bit Set. Didn't disappoint, even though it's just a kitchen cabinet. Went through like butter. Why don't we eat that stop the line? 
anymore. Yeah, I'm going to use a flex and it hooks to the back and the copper will be too hard to hook up. And the one I have on the truck is the wrong size, of course. Black to black, white to white, and ground to green. I'm gonna hit that stud right there. Pencil mark for a stud. So then this here go we'll plug in the back of the dishwasher, like so. So let's put this up here for now. Here's our dishwasher 90. Flex will hook to, as per Bosch dishwasher instructions. Happy Saturday. Does your mommy have me working again on a Saturday? It's time to push the dishwasher in. Prefab the water. So what I'm going to do is slide this in place. And get it closed because all the plumbing and the drains, everything's in the back. You don't think that box is going to be in the way? With no, I got two inches to spare. Oh, okay. Like I was saying, the plumbing, the water, the drain, and the electric plugs in here. So everything's in the back now, which I don't want to tell you, but this is my first time having this type of installation. Now I am fishing the drain line. All you plumbers out there, who loves doing dishwashers? Especially when the homeowner is sitting there watching you like a hawk. Again, my first time doing this type of dishwasher. All the connections are in the back. Should I turn the power on, see if it turns on? That's a good idea. Turn it off. I heard it beep. This is a Bosch dishwasher. All the connections are in the back. Here's the electric plugged in. The water line and the drain line. Here's what I want you to do. Reach in and grab the drain hose, please. As I push this in. Got it? Oh yeah, I got the, I got the one. All right, hold it in the hole. Grab the water line too. The water line's in the small hole down bottom. We're coming in. We're coming in slowly but surely. Let me take a look, see? As I push it in and pull it. Just gotta get the tail out. Alright, we're having some technical problems. The box is holding the dishwasher out a little too far. So now they actually in the instructions want you to secure that white box I put on the inside here. I thought it had two inches, but it sticks out too far. They want that box under the cabinet, which I already cut the wire. Isn't plumbing fun? I don't feel the silver thing. It's curling out. Reach up in there. Oh, I got it. All right, slow. All right, go ahead. Ah, oh, much better. Push in a little more. Much better. It's still not where I want it though. It's crooked. Will you stop? You see it's crooked though? Down below it looks good, but up top it doesn't. Alright, you're done. Bye bye. Now it goes back far enough. Now we gotta put the mounting brackets on, which mount here and screw here. We got the dishwasher in after a small wrestling match. 
now we're going to raise the legs. If you lower this nut a little bit, it gives you an opportunity to put an 11 16 wrench on it. Oh, there we go. Oh. Why is it so tight? Jesus Christmas. Top pair of pliers, Mars. The yellow ones. Of course, this plastic nut wants to fight me. I can't get it low enough to use the, what is it, 1116 wrench? Uh -huh. Oh, there we go. See how everything's nice and sealed in here? No plumbing, no electric out here. That goes to tell you how long it's been since I put a dishwasher in. All right, here's my limits. Still, ain't up. Still isn't down low enough. The nuts are a little, there we go. All right. Oh, there we go, come on. Oh, there we go. Oh, finally. As you see, I chewed it up a little bit. I should loosen them before I put it in next time. See how this is a little, I gotta raise this leg a little bit. I'll raise it back too. Uh, to make it flush up top? To make it, Plum up and down. Yeah, I like the bottom one. I tell you, once you get the the nut to show down here, it's nice. How's it look? So now we're gonna raise the left side just a smidge. Raise the back. Alright, to raise the back of the dishwasher clockwise. How's it look, Mars? Okay, we good? It's flush. That side looks good. See, I think it needs to come out a little bit more. No. Alright, that's it. After a true wrestling match, we're finally back at the final stages of making the connection for the drain. You can mount it to the wall inside and it holds your hose up. We have a hole drilled up high for the trap purpose. That's what that's for. Because the hose actually needs a trap. It always goes higher than a disposal or connection to the drain line. Make sure this is tight. We don't want no messes. Okay. And the final connection will be the water line. Can you have my 5.8 wrench, please? And our final connection to this wonderful job on a Saturday will be the water line. Thank you. Can you shoot some light on here, Mars? That's perfect, right there. Thank you. You can turn the power back on. The drain's connected. And the water's about to be on. And here comes the water. The water's on. Hand me a pair of pliers, Marcy. Marcy's my helper today. The yellow ones. 
we always tighten our packing nut. Boop. Done. All you plumbers out there, who loves doing dishwashers on a Saturday? For free. Let me know in comments below. Have a good weekend. They have the cutouts for the screws, not the legs. Door, please. Turn it on. Auto. Normal. I just ran the dishwasher. I missed the cycle of the drain. You always gotta check your drain connection because God forbid this thing drains out and that thing pops off or leaks. Then you're in big trouble. There it goes. So we're all good. This goes underneath. I'm sure this is for sound. It's right in there like so. They have the cutouts for the screws, not the legs. Door, please. There it is. Screwdriver. Half of the screws don't match up. There should be, is there a slider like this? No, we don't have that. No. Is there another piece missing? Where are the holes? Let's see where the holes are. The holes are not even close. Are you kidding me? I can't raise that high. It usually comes a two-part piece. All right, we got a question out there. This dishwasher, the holes do not match up, and there's no slot for an adjustment on the final panel. So you take these little things? My plumber's apprentice found out that you do need these brackets, and this is the right panel door. Yeah, man, Want some light? Yeah. No, it's still on. So you push that in. They are the right brackets. <laughs> are they in? Yeah. See what happens when you read the instructions? Let's get two screws. I got them right here. Oh. And here's your screwdriver. All right, this you. one goes in real nice, but that one doesn't. So I'm going to have to put the on there. See, that one goes in real nice. Maybe it's the third hole. I'll just start it like that. All these fancy parts. This is nice and quiet. Alrighty, the dishwasher's running fine. Everything worked out great, and Marcy's happy. Let's go find out. Yeah. Marcy, your dishwasher's all complete, running perfect. Are you happy? Yes, I'm very happy. And there goes another satisfied customer. We will see you at the next one.